July the 30th. On this day we celebrate the memory of the Holy Apostles Silas, Silvanus, Epenetus, Crescens and Andronicus. These Holy Apostles were part of the College of the Seventy, a leading figure in the Church of Jerusalem and known for his prophetic saints, St. Silas was sent with Saints Paul and Barnabas to confirm the faith of the Christians in Antioch. When Paul undertook his second missionary journey, he took Silas as his companion. They journeyed together through Syria, Cilicia, Lycaonia, Phrygia, Galatia and Mesia before arriving in Troas. Going from there to Macedonia, Silas was brought before the tribunal and he was imprisoned with St. Paul. But when the authorities realized that they were Roman citizens, they were freed with apologies. They then traveled to preach the good news in Thessalonica and in Beroea, where Silas stayed with St. Timothy and labored to confirm the faith of the new converts, while St. Paul continued his journey in the direction of Athens. All three met up at Corinth, where they preached Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Ecclesiastic tradition recounts that he became Bishop of Corinth, where he worked to have the recommendations contained in St. Paul's letters implemented, to set the Corinthians aright and to establish them securely in charity. After toiling ceaselessly to this end, and after enduring many hardships, he fell asleep in peace and departed to the Lord. It is said that St. Silvanus became Bishop of Thessalonica. He encountered continual dangers and difficulty in his work of preserving the faith, for the inhabitants of Thessalonica were adept in the art of sophistry and the double understanding of language. After having fought the good fight, he also fell asleep in peace. The holy apostle Apennatus is mentioned by St. Paul as the first fruit of Asia, referring here to the region of Ephesus. Ecclesiastic tradition says that he later became the bishop of Carthage and that he underwent many trials and tribulations from the pagans who lived in that region. His patience and words of fire succeeded in bringing a great number to the knowledge of the truth and he gave his soul into God's hands after worthily fulfilling his mission. St. Crescens was also a disciple of St. Paul and is mentioned by the latter as having been sent to Galatia. He became bishop of Chalcedon, and he rescued a great number of pagans who were living in darkness by showing them the light of the truth. After having condemned sin in his own flesh and having delivered many souls from perdition, teaching them the faith and an evangelical manner of life, he fell asleep in the Lord. Blessed of always known for the lovely ages of Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art in our places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and the ages of ages. Amen. O holy, our 
apostles intercede with the merciful God, that he grant unto us all forgiveness of offenses. Let us chant unto the Lord, who by his divine command dried up the impassable and turbulent sea, and guided the people of Israel across it on foot, for gloriously has he been glorified. O holy apostles, pray to God for us. Since you continually stand before the throne of God, illuminated with that never-waning splendor, O saints, ask that spiritual enlightenment be sent down from the Father of lights upon all of us who faithfully honor you. O holy apostles, pray to God for us. When you saw the Son of Righteousness who had shown forth from the maiden child of God, you cleaved to him yourselves, becoming light by divine participation, and you drove off all the darkness of delusion. O holy apostles, pray to God for us. O wise Crescens and Andronicus, Silas and Silvan, bearing the God-given law upon your tongues, you pass through all the earth, taking away its iniquity and sowing the seed of saving knowledge. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Let us extol the glorious Epinatus, the divine boast of Carthage and the disciple of the Word, the fountain of healings, the great preacher of things past understanding and the foundation of the faith. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou ineffably gavest birth to God, the supremely praised one, for the sake of his goodness he clothed himself with flesh from thee, O virgin pure and supremely praised. Wherefore, with voices of thanksgiving, we praise thee in hymns, and as though of old is prophesy, we call thee blessed. Upon the rock of faith, as thou now confirm me, thou hast enlarged my mouth over mine adversaries. My spirit has rejoiced mightily in chanting, There is none holy as our most holy God, and there is none righteous but thee, O Lord Most High. O holy apostles, pray to God for us. Preaching the incarnation of the Master and breaking the bond of evil of wise apostles, you released those once bound by unbelief, and you brought them to God through faith, O great Herod. Holy apostles, pray to God for us. You became lamps of the effulgence of light and waning, driving off the darkness of ungodliness, and showing the light of knowledge unto men, O all famed apostles. For this cause you are continually called blessed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As David said in the Psalms, the divine sound of the apostles has gone forth into all the earth, teaching of the Saviour's passion and resurrection, whereby we all have been erased from the sepulchres of vanity. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. He that abides in unapproachable love finding thee to be purer than the angels, entered thy holy womb of Theotokos, and he was seen as man made flesh of thee and known into natures. With the rays of godliness do ye enlighten all the world with piety as mighty stars of guiding light and ye forever are glorified, O wonder-working apostles of Christ the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Spreading out thy spotless hands, O Virgin Mother, Shelter and protect from harm all those who set their hope on thee and cry aloud to thy holy Son. Grant thy great mercies to all men, O Christ our God. I hymn thee, O Lord, for I have heard report of thee and I was afraid. For thou comest to me, seeking me who have strayed, wherefore I glorify thy great condescension toward me, O greatly merciful one. 
O holy apostles, pray to God for us. In the strength of him that created all things, you pass through the inhabited earth as though on swift wings, and you save those who are grievously imperiled upon the sea, O God, bear us, guiding them into a calm haven. O holy apostles, pray to God for us. Strengthening with thy word those palsied in mind, O glorious Silas, thou went with Paul the preacher into all the world, beset by many trials and openly preaching the Saviour unto all. O holy apostles, pray to God for Redone us. Redone with the greatest of blessings, the wise seal us of this journey with Paul as a bright beaming ray with the sun from the east on to the very west, and you enlighten the hearts of the nation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let Crescens and Andronicus be praised, and let Silvan be magnified with Silas this day, and let Epinetus be extolled, those clusters of the vine of Christ who drop down the sweet wine of salvation. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The wonder wrought in thee has outdone all wonders, for beyond the law of nature thou gives birth to the giver of the law, Christ, who undoes the transgression of all forefathers, O all blameless virgin. O Christ, my Saviour, enlightenment of those who lie in darkness and salvation of the despairing, rising early unto thee, O King of the world, may I be enlightened by thy radiance, for I know none other God than thee. O holy apostles, pray to God for us. Lifted high above the heavens is the majesty of thy disciples, who preach to Zoth on earth thy hallowed coming and thy passion and resurrection, O word of God, Jesus, who art transcendently good. O holy apostles, pray to God for us. Let us sing the praise of the wise Sylvan, the transparent and transcendently bright vessel of the Comforter, the guiding of the erring, the right glorious boast of Thessalonica, and the adornment of apostles. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Waxing manly according to thy name, in alliance with the word of all wise and Andronicus, thou goes about giving strength to hearts fainting under the adversary's wanton assaults, and thou guides them with light unto a perception of God. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. David described thee before as a curdle mountain, a bottom mountain, a mountain of our God. For in thee, O maiden, his processionals were made known when he became poor in the flesh, and led us up again to our ancient estate. To the master from the monster, Jonas cried, Lead me up from the depth of Hades, I pray, that with a voice of praise and in the spirit of truth I may offer sacrifice to thee as my deliverer. O holy apostles, pray to God for us. You are lifted up to the Lord by your pure aspirations, and them that were declining into the pits of destruction. You drew up to the high heaven of love, to divine vision and dis- discipline, O wise apostles. Holy apostles, pray to God for us. Reaching to the ends of the earth, a unity in essence, by trinity in persons, O blessed of God, you utterly dispersed the murky mist of polytheism, and was shown to be luminaries unto souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Christ gave strength unto thy mind, O most wise Crescens, and he manifested thee in godliness as a chief shepherd of Carthage in Gaul, as his disciple showing the path unto them that were gone astray. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The Creator, finding thee to be fair in beauty, dwelled in thee, and appeared fairer than all all the sons of the earth born, when he took on a body O all lauded and all holy virgin. Ye were shown to be branches of the vine of Christ, bearing clusters of the virtues, pouring forth upon us the wine of salvation, O wise ones, which receiving we are filled with gladness, celebrating your most honoured memory, whereon pray ye, O apostles of the Lord, for the remission of our sins. The youths of old show themselves to be redders with the greatest love of wisdom, for theologizing with their lips they chanted from the depths of their God-pleasing souls. 
O most divine God of our fathers, blessed art thou. O holy apostles, pray to God for us. With divine inspiration, let us pray, seal us and seal on those vessels that contain all the grace of the Comforter, and make those who are vessels of error to be acceptable to God. Holy apostles, pray to God for us. No man is sufficient to praise the marvelous Epinatus, for he was conformed to the image of Christ by bearing sufferings for his sake, And having fought well, he became a partaker of his kingdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let Christians be praised in divine song, who pointed out the hidden ways of Christ, and condemned in his flesh condemnable sin, while freeing many of condemnation. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Break the chains of my failings by thy mediation, O pure virgin, and perfectly Bind me on to the love of thy Son, though I go far from him every day in unseemly pleasure. The stern decree of the tyrant king did not persuade the three most righteous children, who, being cast into the furnace, confess God with thanks and thank the hymn. Bless the Lord and exalt him, ye works of the Lord our God. O holy apostles, pray to God for us. The vigilant ministers of the word gave no sleep unto their eyes till they had delivered the faithful from the heavy slumber of error and made them sons of the light and of the day. Holy apostles, pray to God for us. You became the chariot of God and you had him driving you onto the heavenly mark and crushing all the chariots of error, O glorious apostles. Look, we bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Let all wise sealers be worthily extolled as a minister of Christ, and let Crescens and Andronicus be faithfully glorified with him, as luminaries that enlightened all the nations. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us, Lord, the Trinity, the origin of life, who in persons is free, but in nature is known to be one, and let us chant, saying, O oh, you works of the Lord, bless you, the Lord. O thou who from thy virginal loins ineffably lentest a body unto the luminary that was before the sun, even God who has dawned upon us and dwelt among us in the body, O blessed and all pure Theotokos, thee do we magnify. O holy apostles, pray to God for us. You became saving physicians of souls and bodies, purging the sick with spiritual medicines and making them whole in both soul and body, O divinely shining apostles. Wherefore you are worthily called blessed. O holy apostles, pray to God for as us. As coals kindled by the ardor of the Spirit, you dissolve the icy chill of error, warming frozen hearts with faith, guiding them into the spirit time of salvation, O oh, you are wise in all things. O holy apostles, pray to God for us. Let us form a choir in the house of our God, glorifying Silvan and Silas, Andronicus, the great Apennatus, and the all-wise Crescens, as preachers of the truth and our intercessors. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Your sacred and most holy memorial, full of the divine Spirit's gifts, and truly worthy of praise, makes the plenitude of the faithful bright with deifying rays, stirring us up to lord you with hymns, O wise apostles. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Almighty Master, who shall come again in the glory of thy Godhead to judge the world, spare me by the entreaties of her that virginally gave thee birth, and send me not away into the fire, condemned as I am by my sins. O holy apostles, intercede with the merciful God, that he grant unto our souls forgiveness of offenses. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the word, The very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, 
Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, the prayers of his holy and all pure mother. With the prayers of St. John the Baptist of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven. With the prayers of our fathers among the saints Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Cicero the great brand and the navigator. Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ron and Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. At the prayers of the holy apostles of the seventy, Sila, Silvan, Crescens, Apennatus and Andronicus. With the prayers of the holy martyr, Julita of Caesarea in Cappadocia. With the prayers of the holy horror martyr, Valentinus of Interamna in Italy and his martyr's disciples, Proculus, Ephibus and Apollonius. With the prayers of the Holy Virgin Martyrs Maxima, Donatila and Secunda of Tuburbo Lucernaria in Africa. With the prayers of Saint Angelina, the Sovereign Lady of Serbia. With the prayers of our Father German of Solovki, the recovery of whose holy relics we celebrate this day. With the prayers of the Holy New Martyrs Nicholas the Archpriest and Alexander the Chanter of Beloglazovskaya, who was slain by the atheists in 1919 with the prayers of our righteous father Anatolius the Younger of the Optina Hermitage, the Confessor, with the prayers of St. Tatwin of Canterbury and St. Ermengitha and those with them whose memory we keep this day, with the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good. And he loves mankind. Amen. Let the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.